Ok, donc, donc on va commencer notre session. Euh, donc, Zobé, il reste à accepter les participants au fur et à mesure. Alors, euh, bonjour, bonjour tout le monde. Euh, Hello everyone, we're going to start the meeting. Welcome to the training for free our platform. We partnership with our AHA partners. The 16th, uh, 16th session. This session will be moderated by myself, Raja. I'm the coordinator at Umnagri and our colleague, Imelda, who's in charge of programs at Europa. So this session is organized in collaboration between Umnagri and Europa, and of course with the support of our colleagues from PAFO. So this session is going to focus on the strategic planning within the farmers' organization. So, so that we, we know that you can now see the importance of the topic. So I'll start by presenting you the agenda. I'll ask Zuberi to share the, the agenda for our session. The session is going to last two hours. It is a, as I said, I'm going to moderate myself and my dear colleague Imelda. So the sessions, the session will last two hours. And after the presentation, we will have uh, after the welcoming what we will have two sessions. Sessions that will be presented by uh, by. Uh, by the, the, the importance of uh, strategic planning and the experience that Europa have in uh, this area. It's also going to be another session on breakout rooms. We'll work in two groups as usual. And we're going to discuss, we have, we're, going to, we're going to have discussions between the participants uh, regarding the approaches uh, and the methodology for the uh, preparation of uh, strategic plans for farmers organizations. It is a, as I was saying, this session will last two hours. Two hours. And now I'm just going to give the floor to Amelda so that she can tell us what, what which are the objectives for our session. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Raja. Thanks a lot, everyone. I'm Amelda, and I'm in charge of programs within Europa. And I'm going to co facilitate this session with my colleague and friend, Raja. So now I'm going to present to you. You can see my screen, I hope. I'm going to present uh, quickly the objectives of uh, this session. Uh, we can summarize them in three and say that uh, uh, this session came from the suggestions from uh, uh, our members on the basis of our needs. Uh, that uh, that we, we mentioned the things that we want to uh, focus on so that we can uh, build each other on. So we thought about this, some, some noise. Some noise. Uh, Allô, Elsa, est-ce que vous Oui. Elsa, s'il te plaît, peux-tu euh, fermer ton micro? Voilà. Safi, your mic, please. Is it okay now? Okay, It's okay now. So the first objective is to better understand the strategic planning and what is the content, what is the procedure. The second objective is to be able to deal share our different experiences in terms of implementation. 
in uh, in our uh, stra uh, strategic plans within our farm organizations to exchange our experiences on the tools and the approaches that we have. So this one we will work on during uh, the group work where everyone is going to uh, talk about these approaches and also the challenges uh, that we go through within our organizations in terms of uh, the, 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 the preparation, the implementation and the uh, monitoring and evaluation of our strategic plans. So these are, these are the objectives of the session. I thank you for your attention. I think now without, uh, uh, if you allow it now as presented in the agenda, now I'll give the floor to Mr. Ababa Femi, who is the CEO of PAFO, so that he can make the opening remarks. Uh, Mr. Baba Femi, you have the floor. Can you hear us? Uh, thank, thank you, Melda. Hello. Thank you. I will speak in English. Oui, mais il y a l'interprétation. D'accord, d'accord. Yes, we have interpretation. I'm very pleased to welcome you all to the 16th peer-to-peer -peer farmers organization exchange session organized by Rupa and Yumunagvi. Uh, two uh, farmers organization, regional farmers organization of PAFO. This session is taking place within the framework of the Pan-African Exchange Platform for Farmers Organizations established by PAFO in collaboration with AHA. This digital platform aims to strengthen exchanges between farmers organizations in Africa, thus promoting collaboration, networking, and the sharing of relevant knowledge for building the capacity of farmers organizations to better serve their members. This 16 uh, session, as uh, already announced by Imelda, is focusing on strategic planning. And there is a popular saying that he who fails to plan, plan to fail, which for some important reasons makes strategic planning a crucial issue for uh, farmers organizations today. First, it allows farmers organizations to clearly define their medium and long-term goals and the action plans needed to achieve them. This gives them a coherent direction and vision that will make them focus the efforts of all members around a common strategy. Secondly, the strategic, strategic planning process then helps farmers organizations to assess their market position, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. This in-depth analysis enables them to make informed decisions about areas for improvement and priority investments to strengthen their competitiveness. Thirdly, strategic planning also facilitates coordination and communication within the farmers' organizations by clearly defining responsibilities and implementation steps, it ensures better organizational and operational management and effective strategy execution. Fourthly, as we advocate for an enabling policy environment for farmers' organizations and their members, strategic plan provide the tool that identifies the weaknesses and threats to the operations of, F of farmers' organizations, which they can employ to solicit for the support of policymakers. Finally, a sound strategic plan is essential to mobilize the financial and human resources needed to develop farmers organizations. It demonstrates the viability and relevance of its projects to potential donors and partners. Strategic planning is an essential tool to enable farmers organizations to be more efficient, competitive, and sustainable in a constantly evolving environment. It provides them with the means to achieve their goals in a structured and coordinated manner. I would like to appreciate the teams in Europa, led by Imelda and Umunagri, led by Raja, that prepared the session and thank the participants for their commitment and active contribution in this initiative. 
that promotes solidarity and sustainable growth within our community of farmers' organizations. I wish you an excellent peer-to-peer -peer exchange session on the Pan-African Exchange Platform for Farmers' Organizations. And may these moment, moments of exchange, networking, and collaboration bring you new ideas, opportunities for growth, and strengthen the bonds within our farming community uh, and also uh, contribute to a strong powerful. I wish you a great session. Thank you all. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup, Dr. Babafemi. Merci pour ces mots. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Babafemi, for your encouraging words. Now we're going to go into the presentation of the participants. And as you know, Raja said this, we only have two hours. So if everyone must speak, I think it is going to move smoothly. We we'll have spent like a quarter of the time that we have. So I suggest something to you, something new. Um, and I'm going to count on your uh, support. So it's a small exercise. I'm going to share, we, wait a bit, wait, wait a minute. I'm going to share my screen and show you the exercise. So I'm going to request you that we can learn to know who is here to respond to this uh, survey. Now, who can access this survey? Who can has access to this survey? So to, to know from where are you connected? So we start with that question. I'll tell you the second question. For you to, to have access to this question, I invite you to scan the QR code that you can see on the screen. You can confirm to me that you can see it, the QR code. Yes, yes, we can see it. We can see it. So you look at the, you, you scan the QR code or you can say to menti.com, as you can see up here, and there is this code. They ask for you to in, input this one. So you put this, you can see the, the figure, you can see the 73981243. I can see. I can see some people have already gone there. They are answering the question. Some people have, have connected themselves. They are answering the question. Thank you. So we give you time to others to try to uh, go into these uh, two, either the QR code or you go to menti.com and then use the code that's written here, 73981243. Or you can scan the QR code, which is, you can see on the screen, or at the bottom of the screen, and then you can respond to this question so that we know in which region of Africa people have connected from. For the, for the time being, I see I see people from West Africa. I can see, I see them online, but they're not answering. West Africa, there's no one who is not answering. Are you having technological issues? Are you having challenges? Are you having connectivity difficulties? Do you have any challenges? Let me know. We will, we will take uh, at least uh, a few more seconds, minutes to wait. Oh, at least this one person who has saved the face of West Africa. I don't know who that is. Thank you. It's myself. <laughs> okay, we wait a bit. We wait a bit so that the participants can answer the question. So I think up to this point, we have give you time to uh, connect yourselves, West Africa. Okay, what I am observing is that the most active in terms of technology is people from Africa, or I think they are the ones who are the majority online. We wait a few more seconds. Now I can see that the whole of Africa is represented here. Thank you, thank you for your participation. Continue, continue. Uh, okay, 
West Africa now has uh, is, is, is on top. Eh? Continue, continue, continue to connect. We have any difficulties in intensity to tell us. So Africa is well represented. That is the other intention of uh, PAFO to encourage uh, African integration for farmers, for farm organizations, and for our technical staff. Uh, that is also important to be together to share our experiences so that we can uh, support each other. Uh, thank you. Uh, I think in Northern Africa, there's only one person. So Raja, Raja, it's only one person from North Africa. It's my, myself, I have not been able to participate myself. I'm trying see the chat is also West Africa. They're saying they is a section of uh, West Africa who have said they have uh, an issue with the connection. Connection that's Mali. Hello, Imelda. It's Musa. Yes, Musa, how are you? We have uh, a challenge with connectivity here. No problem. No problem. But I, I answered through the chat. It's okay. You can also respond. Uh, you can respond through the chat. If you can't use the main key, you can also use the chat. So yeah. So we, you have to, to, to innovate. Eh? So when Plan A doesn't work, you go to Plan B. So now we go to the next question. Raja, you have a question to the. Can you just look at the answers that are written on the chat because I don't have access to the chat. You can read that later. Also, I can see these, uh, the, the people who have written on the chat. This chat is Senegal. Ella has difficulties in joining us. There's West Africa, there's Mali, uh, Central Africa, and West Africa. So I think the entire continent continent is here. I think that is the most important. Africa is the winner. So we go now with the few seconds that we still have to the last question so that we can better know ourselves. Now, can you tell us what's your favorite hobby? Just uh, write the response on there. I, I don't know. The, I like eating. So, someone who is also like me, just just type your hobby. Someone has written reading and writing. You, uh, uh, please type your answers. Watching football and movies. But I think there you have to tell me the secret. Every time I try to do sports, I cannot go to the office. Era has written the music is uh, Mamadou Diop uh, is written going to the, to the, to the beach. Uh, going to the, going to the, to the beach is a very nice response. Uh, someone is saying farming, that's a good. Uh, that's a good one. Learn this. Uh, watching we have two people who love football and two people who like eating three like myself because myself i also like sleeping i'm not shy to say that eating i don't know whether eating is a is a hobby yes it is swimming music watching series uh, researching on technology i think i look for you to look and teach me on this 
that uh, you are now learning to know me, I'm also knowing you. But this is something as written, Lydia said, uh, cooking, ready, listening to music. Uh, Musa is uh, being patient and having bread. Are there answers? Are there answers? There's, there's an interesting one from Mamadou Diop is seducing women. Does it also count as a, as a hobby? Seducing girls. Okay, I'm going to alert your wife and then we'll see what happens to you. Uh, reading, listening to music. Reading, listening to music while traveling. Is there another response that is uh, coming in now? Otherwise, you stop and go to something else. Thank you very much for your excellent answers. We'll see that my best friend is the one who loves cooking. Uh, so I think with that one, we can eat uh, together. It's actually a pleasure to see that uh, the entire Africa is here. We are all connected. We like the same things, eating, cooking. We also uh, like football, etc. Thank you very much uh, for this uh, uh, small uh, exercise. If there are no new answers, we'll stop here. And I'll give the floor to my brother, my colleague and friend that I like uh, giving airing work so that he can now give us a presentation on strategic communication. He will also tell us about how to use it. Uh, thank you. The rest, I give you the floor. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, uh, wherever you are. So my name is Austin Akwa. I'm in charge of uh, uh, monitoring and evaluation with Europa. And I think uh, what we have here is, is uh, going to exchange information because it's not a training. Because uh, as long as we are here online, we know what uh, strategic plan is in a way or another. Uh, if we have uh, hobbies, if we have traveled, we listen to music, if we even like uh, seducing girls and to get them, it means that we have already developed at some point tools that enable us to uh, plan strategically. So I will, from us, I will using a few slides. Uh, have a discussion with you. From this discussion, we'll be able to share experiences from Europa, the pain challenges that we have, not just in strategic planning with you know, farmers' organizations, but also in monitoring and evaluation, especially what we plan, we need to monitor it because a strategic plan integrates uh, the monitoring so that we can now which we, what we need to planify. So we're just going to have a discussion. So we have a small uh, thing to share together. It is a net. Here we're going to have the expression, we're going to exchange ideas, our experiences, because as long as we are here, we know how to go about this exercise. But there are two or three uh, main questions in this exercise, which might be the questions that can enable us to and uh, uh, some issues where people, some people are for, others are against. But through this, uh, as Baba Femi has just said, uh, we will know whether we have the means to continue uh, with our strategic planning. And if we have to do it, what must we consider so that we can remain in uh, these uh, proper strategic planning with a space that we would like to invite you to share what you know, share what you've done, so that we can together uh, uh, learn from each other, uh, teach each other, and to continue working with farmers. Now, uh, Imelda uh, gave you uh, 
a short uh, exercise as to whether you like eating uh, from where you come and merely go a bit further you go a bit further i will invite you to use even if you don't have uh, a connectivity just a small uh, level of uh, connection so that you can make your menti at home using your phone it's better with your phone than a computer so when you have internet connection you go to your you, you can search for menti.com and you going to you'll find uh, uh, 10 about 10 elements issues that we're going to discuss together you're going to try to scan the qr code uh, that you have so you go to your uh, camera and you scan the QR code, it's going to take you directly to the page, but you're going to get there just now. So that's an important element that's going to help us in the discussion during our, our discussions here. And I am, um, I'm not a teacher, I'm just sharing experiences with you. And what we have within the power, what we have arrived, what we've been able to do, in uh, preparing strategic plans, we have also been able to evaluate them. So we're going to share on the three points. What is strategic planning? What is it? How do you do it? How do we do ours? Which were the obstacles that we encountered? And what did we learn from it? How can you carry out uh, monitoring and evaluation during the implementation of our strategic plans? Because all of us, we function like a network. Farmers' organization is not uh, uh, exclusive to an individual. Uh, we have members, we are linked to partners, we have other organizations with which we work. So we function as a network. So, how do we evaluate, how do we assess uh, the progress that we are making in, in within the organization? The last question that we'll ask. Uh, the last question for our discussion. Is it useful for a farmers organization like yours eh, to have eh, a, a, a strategic planning tool? Is it important? How is it important? Baba Femi was saying just now that uh, we're going to uh, build on this the issue of uh, strategic planning because when you don't have a plan, you don't know where you're going. When you get out of your house in the morning, you have defined what you're going to do. You plan something. So we're going to see a bit whether it's useful for our farmers' organizations to have these plan. So we're going uh, to the mentee, the mentimeter. Together, we're going to try and what is our understanding of the strategic planning so i remind you uh, if you want to scan the information you cannot have a, i can't have access to chat because uh, i can't i can't have access to two screens eh? so i'll ask uh, imelda or raja to tell me when the colleagues are uh, discussing using the, the message messages that you can progress the first question what do you know about uh, strategic planning? Who knows the, the knowledge of uh, SP? Do you have good knowledge of uh, strategic planning? Is your knowledge fair or weak? Good. We are experts here, I can see. So, which means that we can uh, really continue with our actions. From uh, the people who have answered, we are uh, 30, we are about 20, 28, including the interpreters. Who do you know about strategic planning? You know, uh, strategic planning, when I, when I talk about it, oh, yes. tell us, share with us. Mohamed Adelin. Have you already known what is strategic planning? 
peu. Joseph. Joseph. Lydie, tell us, tell us. How do you get yourself in terms of your knowledge of uh, strategic planning? So, uh, we can see some. I think, uh, Rem, you explain the, the, uh, the, the difficulties that they have huh, in the monitoring of uh, their documents and their strategic planning. So it means generally everyone knows what uh, strategic planning is. So we all have an idea of what uh, strategic plan is. Mohamed eh? says he knows it knows what it's about. So uh, from um, six to nine who are online, they know what it is. We have about 10 who do not know. And we go into the details, we'll know why. Now let's progress. As someone who has already participated in, in the elaboration of a strategic plan, is one of the, the tools that enable us to measure or to appreciate uh, the, 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 the dynamics in strategic planning. Okay. It goes well with the, the, the graph that we saw, where we had six people did that they know it well. They know what uh, strategic planning is. Okay. Uh, they say setting objectives. I'm noting that. Mama Diop has done it more than more than twice. Speeded in uh, strategic planning. Someone has never done it. One person. Mohamed, tell us, you have done it several times, you have done, done it many times. Yes. So at least we are sure that between the prioritizing the objective that the developers are mentioned in the chat, strategic planning, at least we are sure that in our role here, what strategic planning is, we've done it uh, on several occasions. We'll go now, come back to progressing. According to you, in, in a few words, can you share with us, Ahmed Belkadi? The keywords with the framework of uh, the, the managing a professional organization fixed objectives, as I said, that can be annually with technical objectives, financial objectives, uh, that you can also deal with the, the budgetary side of matters. So every year you must have a, a budgetary budget, a budget and meaning that you have actions that you're carrying out eh? and you plan these uh, actions uh, uh, on the basis of time. You have a calendar, timelines, during the year and of prepare the financing for this action. That is perfect. I've noted what you said. Objective, plan and, and budget. I've noted those three things. Objective, a plan and a budget. So online colleagues are saying vision that has been written many times. So you should have a vision. You have an idea of what vision you have, a guiding document, you have the tools, manuals, 
Manuel, Manuel Rose, you should have a certificate for your station, you should have a roadmap, the financial means, that one is very clear. You should also add Then you go into the determination of the, the definition of the objective. If you start from an analysis, then you go into the fix uh, the definition of the objective. Thank you, Mohammed, for your contribution. Then the others through the different uh, information uh, through what you've presented. Il faut un mot clé. So, we need a key word. So, so we need to get a key word there. And, and so, on what has been presented on the table, the vision qui explique, qui indique the vision indicates the strategic qualification, but it is an instrument for strategic planning. The vision is an instrument of strategic planning. And so the tools to develop are equally elements or the objectives or the orientations. <clears throat> and so the capacity to, to, to monitor, these are the key words that are coming up on strategic plan. And so in chat, I can see uh, pre-planning, defining activities, but also the objectives, those are important, and the orientation. And so those are key elements for strategic planning. And so let me know, if I give you these expressions, go to the market, go to supermarket and uh, that organize to build my house in 2020. And so according to you from one to five, what is related to strategic plan? And so what actually goes into strategic planning? Uh, can you hear me? Yes, yes. And so what goes into strategic planning? Going to the supermarket this afternoon, so get ready to build my own house in 2027, have an idea, have a, a very stable family life and follow the path. And so there are people who are saying, we're oh, gonna have, a Okay, get ready to build my own house in 27 and also have a very stable family. These are part of strategic planning. Yes, we are going to follow what people are saying and we are going to discuss this very quickly. Raja, <clears throat> are you able to use the tool? Are you able to say if going to the supermarket is is actually part of strategic planning. Yes. Yes, yes, we, we poorly, okay. <clears throat> and so there's also the degree eh, which comes in. So. And I'm not that you is saying in chat, eh? If, if, if you allow me, eh, you can, using the, the tool that you have presented. And so we are organizing to do our strategic plan 2027. And that is why we need a strategic plan, which I would say, uh, of, 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 of three years. So, so 
so so a, a strategic plan is a long term document so i'm noting in chat that diop is saying 2027 uh, to construct my house Samba, Samba. Oops. So, so. Uh, and sorry. Uh, and so the activities to achieve this. Uh, and so our friends from South Africa, do you have something to say concerning this activity? The activities, the, the, our colleagues who are here, what do you say ab about this exercise? This question. In my opinion, uh, in my opinion, the fact of building a house by 2027 is short term, but how to have a very stable family life as I retire is a long time and it contains a vision and a mission of a, of, of, of a strategic plan. So I would go for have a very stable family life as I retired. Oui, Freddy. Freddy. Freddy, your microphone is off. So I was saying, I, I'm in the same opinion with Judith. And so for strategic plan is you have it in a long term as the two examples that have been given, like having a, a, a stable family as I retire. And so that is what uh, strategic planning is. And organizing to build a house by 2027, this could actually be strategic planning, but going to the market this evening, this has nothing to do with the strategic planning. And a meeting for PAFO next week, this has nothing to do with a, a, a strategy. And so there are those two that could be part of strategic planning because we are projecting ourselves in a long term. And so it has a vision and also objectives that you could actually fix. So I'm in agreement with what Judith said. Yes, I think that is it because we have actually gotten to the conclusion because with what Freddie has said, it is it. We, we, we need time, we need to organize. And as Judith has said, we need to have a mission. And so we already know what the strategic planning is. And so the words that I have, I have, you have said are actually part of what is strategic planning there is planning organizing ideas activities and you structure them and then you've also talked about strategies and so that is what makes a difference between operational planning and also strategic planning and so going to the supermarket so that you can make fufu that is actually a, an operational plan because it is a duration that is very very short and so the strategy def de define actually has to be a long term and then a long term. And so you get to go very far. And you, as you have, Mohammed has 
said, we need to, to actually go with what we can, we can see. And that is the definition of a strategic plan. And it also comes up with a vision. How do we see our future given what, where we are now? And so we also have the means. And so we look at the resources that we have. And also, you also put in place a system that will help us to monitor the vision because the vision is big. And so constructing a house or having a private jet in four years, if Melda has this vision, this is actually like a dream, but a dream can be achieved if you have means, if you have resources. And so you could actually do get a strategy so that you, in 2027, you could actually evaluate. And so as according to what we have said, strategic planning we are we need to know the basis of strategic planning and so the first question that we ask ourselves in the pharma organization what is the current situation where are we and how we are how did we get where we are yeah. and so for us in ropa when we are doing uh, our strategic documents we ask ourselves what is the situation what is the context currently and where have we come from uh, that is maybe 2020, that is after. And so what is the situation? Where have we come from? And so we ask ourselves, the leaders ask ourselves, where do we want to go? And so in 2020, we, in 2020, we were not talking about the drones. In 2020, we were not talking about tools like e-granary that would give information on climate and also on agricultural aspects. In 2020, we did not have production that was adapted to the agroecological zone. And so the second question is, where do we want to go? And so this is important for strategic planning. And, and so after that, how are we going to get where we want to go? How do we arrive at our role? And so I define my role, I also, define where I want to go, that is the vision. And so how am I going to get where I want to go? So how will I be sure that what I will, be, what I will do concerning the problems of the context and all that, how will I get to there with the resources that I have? And the last two questions, who, how do we monitor so, so, so that I can know whether I have achieved the objective. And so that is, you, that is where you do a situational analysis and we do SWOT. And then we are going to do a vision. We are going to look at capacity and resources, but especially in strategic planning, we are going to look at the strategic options. What are the strategies, the choices that we are going to take in a short term and also in a long term? And so how do we implement it? And so for Ropa, this is what we have been able to do. And so we discussed more is that it was on the red part uh, and so we have talked about a vision at all the terms. And so objectives are the results. And so we need a budget and also planning and also a monitoring and evaluation strategy. And so that is how, what uh, uh, Coco has shared on chat. And so the heart of, uh, at the center of strategic planning is actually where the leader and also the tech with the technicians, they need to make the strategic choices. That is what are the strategic choices that we undertake. And so these are the most important things. And this is where the strategic planning differs from operational planning. And, and so for the operational planning, we do not do strategic choices. And so strategically, I could de define the 
I, I would construct the house by 2027 because I would like to get with my children in the house. And so strategically in my life, I would like to have a peaceful life by constructing the house. As Dio has said, is actually also uh, also helping the, the women. And at the end of the process, the objective is actually to come up with strategies so that they can actually achieve the objective. So the first thing I would like to ask you, do you think that this is exactly, these are the elements that we need to take into account that are used in strategic planning and also in this procedure and also the content. So you, you, there is also an important point, the budget. Poco, why have you talked about the budget, for example? Yes, we can hear you. Yes, 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 we can hear you, Bobo. Uh, I'm sorry. And so it is true. I, I talked about the, we, you do strategic choices. And so we need also the means to achieve the objectives. And so we need a budget that allows us to implement the actions. And so that is something that I have added. And so it is an important aspect. If, if, if you... And so it is important for strategic planning. And that is why I talked about the budget as an important point of strategic planning. Thank you very much. And so, Mohammed, yes, you have the floor. And so for me, I think that for strategic planning, after doing the analysis of the current situation, you need to determine the objectives and the objectives must also be smart. They must be specific, measurable, achievable, and, and also timely. And so we move on to the determination uh, that is identifying activities that are going to help achieve the objectives. And after that, you move on to budgeting uh, for the activities that are going to be achieved. Yeah, that is that is it. Yes, thank you very much, Mohammed. And so, uh, Mohammed has added capacity and resources. What is, is the difference between a vision and the objectives, uh, Judith? According to you, what is the difference between a vision and also objectives, Judith or Dembele or? Aminata, maybe you have the floor to answer to, to this question. Thank you. I can take the floor. Yeah, a vision is something that you see and motivates you uh, towards now taking the steps. Like uh, I can give an example of a manufacturer of shoes. What did he see? The vision he saw was to shoe the world, making sure everybody has a shoe. Then uh, an objective, I would say, is the immediate achievement that you would make towards the vision. So you can have three uh, uh, immediate uh, objectives or goals that can lead to us showing the, sh making sure everybody in the world has a shoe. That would that is what I can explain as the difference between an objective and a vision. Thank you.
so, so personally, maybe it's not the case, but the vision is actually the ideal situation and objectives are actually the concrete aspects that you are going to contribute so that you, you, you wish to achieve the vision. Those are the concrete things. And so vision is general and also the objectives are concrete steps to get there. Aminata, so, so good afternoon. So objectives are, are what you do in order to achieve uh, the vision. And so a vision is something that is long term. Yeah, that is good. And so, Mohammed, yes. So, so I think that the difference between a vision and objectives is as our, our sister Animata has said, and she has talked about a, a dream. It's a dream that is actually general, but for objectives, you, you start to, to, to define things clearly so that you achieve the dream. And so that is the difference. So thank you, Mohammed. Damele, I'm the one. I think that the difference is between the difference between a vision and objective. Objectives, these are in two levels. An objective is is, is decided. Maybe if we are in a project, we we want to undertake a, a personal project. And so for the vision is actually measured in the long term. Maybe my, my vision uh, for Mali Yes, continue. So the vision is is evaluated or measured in the long term, and and on the other hand, ob ob the general objective is is done immediately. The objectives are measured immediately. I'm in agreement with Mohammed Adeline. You have the floor. Thank you very much, Dembele. We are going to discuss what you have just told me about your candidature. Adeline? Adeline, the floor is yours. Yes, your microphone is off, Mr. Adeline. Okay. Okay. I think that we have given responses and all responses are correct. A vision. Yes, I was saying that objectives are actually goals and the, the vision is like a dream. Yes. So this is actually what Muhammad had talked about and also what the other colleagues have said. And so what we need to note concerning what we have done, a vision is first of all an objective, but the objective is actually the dream. The, the only difference is that object, what we, when we are doing a strategic planning, a vision is a long-term objective is a long-term objective. And as has been said, my vision is to be the president of Mali, as our brother has said, in, by 2030, he needs to be the president of Mali. That is a long-term dream, a long-term uh, vision. And so objectives it can actually be a vision because we are going to note that this is actually a vision in a short term. And the other thing that makes a difference between objective and vision, apart from the timeline lines or the timeframes of these two elements, 
uh, is who owns the vision. Do you think that you can have a vision? A project has a vision or it is the organization that has a vision. What is, is it, okay, who has the vision? A project could actually the ideas that you say here are all correct, Mohammed. Mohammed? <laughs> Mohammed, your microphone is off. Belkadi? I could actually use which the person that is someone who who gives more clarity to ideas and also gives a roadmap. And so it is an objective in a long term, that is a vision. <laughs> and so a vision allows us to have a strategic direction and allows us to, to have a, a, a clear pathway on what we need to do. Mohammed. And so I'm answering to the question and so the vision is for an organization and projects. So projects are a way of achieving the vision. Yes, thank you very much, Mohamed. Uh, and so according to Mohamed, that is it too cool? And so, Ren? Uh, uh, so good morning, bonjour. Okay. What is your opinion on this? So I think that the answers that have been given here are, are actually giving the same idea. And so a vision what you want to achieve in a long term and so so it is something that you achieve in a long term and so this could be a change or doing something and and so 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 that is a vision what you decide and so objectives the, at a short term, these are things that you do in a short term that contribute to the vision. And so that is what I have. So thank you very much, Adrem Teng, for your comment. Judith, is it? Uh, just a small thing to ask uh, the presenter on where we can put a mission in this strategic planning steps. Mission, because mission is the purpose of your existence. And uh, I, since I cannot read French, maybe it's somewhere in one of the boxes. Thank you. Who has an answer to this? Because I do not have an answer to Judith's question. Where are we going to put the mission in these boxes? Where should we put the mission? Vision, mission, and objectives. So for me, the mission should be put on organizing of the project. And so the project, is like the objectives. And so in a project, we have a vision and there are objectives that we are under, uh, we are achieving. And so in the middle term, the vision 
is going to be achieved by the organization. The mission is the organization itself. That is according to me. So thank you very much, Freddie. So we are going to conclude this point saying that uh, and the mission and the vision objectives are elements which are, are in the development of the organizations and are within the development of the organization. And so the mission is the role that organization gives itself to take the initiative to take the initiative which will help in achieving the vision. And the mission is as Ropa, my as EF, what am I going to do in order to, 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 to achieve the vision? And so that is the mission that the organization gives itself. And so we have already discussed what strategic planning is. And we have said that this allows us to define the vision and also to define the mission and also at the operational level or in the middle medium term, we need to come up with objectives. And those are objectives that allows the organization to achieve its ambition. And so strategic planning is an element which allows us to, to, to take with what uh, the stakeholders uh, so that they can reach an ambition. It is uh, like I was showing you the, 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 the strategic choices that uh, you make, which are the decisions that uh, are aligned to the context that will help you to get to your vision. So you know, we have to prepare ourselves to others. Uh, we have to discipline ourselves to make sure that we get to these objectives uh, so that uh, we can uh, now realize the mission that we have uh, and get us to the vision that we have. And it's because the vision, the vision is not something that we can uh, achieve uh, without others. Uh, we create partnerships so that we can get to the vision. Now, I want to ask you another question. Let me go back to the Mentimeter. See with you. Do you think that there's a difference that exists between a farmer's organization, a, a, a farmer's cooperative, public organization, in terms of defining strategies? Should there be a difference between uh, Tunisia as a government the government of Malawi, which decides to come up with a strategic plan and a cooperative that deals with maize in a Congolese village, which is also coming up with this, it's strategic plan. Yes, Diop. I think, yes, there should be a difference because we said when you're explaining yourself, you said, you said one thing, that uh, when you're coming up with a strategy, you're going to base yourselves eh, on what is available and what is not available. Yet, uh, for different ent entities, the resources are different and the objectives are different. So maybe the plan for, uh, for, for making a strategic plan is the same, but the objectives are not the same. For example, for cooperatives, eh, they, they are social uh, enterprises. Senegal, for example, and uh, the public organi organizations exist, uh, they are profit making and the cooperatives may not be. So uh, that's what I think. So, if, for Diop, uh, the process could be the same, but the content will be different. There should be a difference. Uh, there are two people who are saying that there should be a difference. From Is Mohammed, you have something to say? I am in agreement with my friend, the, the previous speaker. One person who said that there should be a difference between the two, or that the difference is very small. Can, can they explain a bit? Can you explain a bit, the person who said that the difference is little difference? 
Bruce, you know, do you think that uh, the strategic plans of these organizations should be different? I have seen, Jibali has opened their mic, he wants to say something. Are you following me? Yeah. I think the question is a bit complicated. That's why we're not answering. My question is complicated, yes. Because why am I asking this question? It's because farmers' organizations want to specify themselves, say that as we are different, we are not like others. As we cannot do what the others are doing, we cannot get into these uh, things that people are doing we cannot uh, report on our activities in that way organizations you think america according to you by the way is a difference or there should be a difference between the way a farmer's organization puts in place a strategic plan and the way a cooperative or a uh, public organization does it. I will only speak in the presence of my lawyer. Okay, that's the best. I'm, 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 I'm just, uh, I'm just uh, uh, joking. But uh, on a serious note, uh, I think it's like you said, the, the process, uh, the process, whether it's a it's a, it's a cooperative, a public organization, the the, 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 the the questions that you ask yourself when you are coming up with the strategic plan are the same. So we have the, the same components, vision, mission, objectives, the the, the 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 strategic directions that you're going to follow. But now a government has more means than a cooperative. On, on the basis of the size, the process might be longer or less complex on the on the on the basis of the organization. But uh, the basics are the same. Come on, Carlos, you open your mic. Belkadi, it is, it is true that the vision is different because the objectives are different. The, the, the process, as, as our colleague has said, will be the same. The process is the same. You must think objectives, you must have a, 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 a vision and mission. So thank you, Belkadi. I can see on the chat someone has. Uh, Freddy has said that he can't see the difference, eh? and Judith is saying there should be a difference. So for me, I think the the big difference is at the level of the mission. That a mission or a cooperative eh, is different from the mission of a government or a government or a state organization, which is a larger as an organization. That's where the difference is, because you will see they, they, they have different means, and even in the terms of the approaches they apply. Also, the difference is in the structures, because an institutional government organization is better structured than a cooperative. So I think it is in this where you find the difference. Otherwise, everyone will have their approaches uh, according to their means, according to their uh, capacity. Yes, yes, I, I am noting that so that we progress, eh, that the difference is not in the process. So the, 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 the process is the same. 
what the process requires from you is the requirements are the same the difference is on the content of the strategic plan and especially the strategies that are developed by the, the, the form of the organization now so that we can uh, progress in time eh? we're going to note that in uh, the strategic planning we need to consult actors that uh, you can have ownership there's also the need to ensure that there is a uh, validation and also to make sure that the strategic plan document is shared with the actors so you can have the round table of actors which enables you to share the strategic planning document with the other actors but i want also to mention these other points are important given that you are a network you must align it to the local national and regional at all those levels. Eh? Our strategic planning document, we must make sure that whoever is writing the document, you should be sure about ownership of the, the document, the strategy document. Sometimes you have excellent documents, eh? uh, but uh, you you do not know anything about it because it was written by a consultant. So you make sure that the ownership is clear and that uh, you have uh, available time. So the document must also take into consideration our capacities, our means, and also uh, we should be in a process where we do it ourselves. That is what you try to do within Dropper, so that we can have a document uh, that is self-driven and farmer organizations now can use it within the region and they, it have value within the region. We must also give ourselves the means to make sure that we progress towards our our plan. So I'll ask you again once more to go back into Mentimeter. Tell us if at the level of your organization you have a tool for monitoring your strategic plan. You have a tool for the monitoring of your strategic plan in your organization. So the answer you say no, not really, or we are working on it. Fred uh, uh, says no. We don't have a, a formal a formal tool. Uh, Freddy says no. Freddy has said no in the chat. Who else has an answer? CNC saying we are working on it. Group, your answer is not clear. Everybody saying no. Not really. You, you see this? You did say is no. This is where. We elaborate, we come up with a strategy document. We define this without really giving ourselves the means to monitor our strategy. And that is where the tool for the assessment of our strategic plan is a very important element, which is will enable us in reality to see the link so that we can see such and such issues no longer useful and we can see which are the operational programs that we're developing with the, the strategy tool and with our strategic ambitions. Generally, that's what a farmer organization do. When we have good strategies, sometimes we do not get to where we want. In Europa, for example, we have a, a document that is prepared on the basis of the operational activity so we have initiative at the local national levels but it is so difficult complicated to monitor even measure so that you can see whether with our ambitious strategy uh, that we give ourselves uh, whether with the leadership we are getting someone so i i get all uh, problems uh, 
So I tell you, uh, Imelda has not done the planning for 2024, so we we'll have difficulties with her because uh, for monitoring and, 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 and assessment, we forget to always eh, to see what is the link between what we are doing and the vision that we have and the vision that we give ourselves. And one of the tools that we developed in Europa to get there is what we call outcome mapping, which enables us eh, to go around what has been done which means that you should have a possibility to measure performance and results to see whether we are really uh, advancing. Because when you are a network, sometimes it's very complicated to have a, a, a direction to get to where you want to go. So the outcome mapping that we have developed in Europa uh, helps us to deal with some things, uh, what to capitalize on, uh, of monitoring missions, uh, and how to, to help the people who are doing the implementation, reporting, so that we can show that we're progressing towards our, our, our dream. But I can, I can tell you that it's not easy because there are so many relations to put in place. So, in terms of uh, measuring performance, we need a tool that will help us uh, during the elaboration of our strategic plan to define uh, the, 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 the methods that we're going to use to analyze our progress. Otherwise, it's very difficult. You'll see uh, carrying out uh, assessment uh, that is really complicated. You're not even making any progress. I don't know whether you have uh, gone through that. I don't know colleagues have uh, would want to share their experience in terms of the difficulty uh, that uh, comes in when you're trying to connect uh, showing that what we are doing is helping us to achieve our very specific objectives if you allow me i think if i can share with you the experience that we've had i've gone through within the framework of a national association in Morocco. And here, the experience are uh, these noise. It's at the level we have a program with the government. And in the contract, it says we have an action plan, we have a budget, and we have a timeline. And we are uh, supposed to ensure that the activities are carried out within the stipulated time. And from this, we also carry out monitoring about our achievement and the progress, because we are also supposed to present at the end of the year a report. And it is a report with the achievement of the activity and what do you call it, the budget as well budget that we have, uh, the man, money we have used up, uh, this also uh, it depends on, it, 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 it informs the future, the year coming, uh, yeah, so the program is a new one, but it is, it is on the basis of a strategic plan, five-year strategic plan, which means that uh, uh, a monitoring and evaluation is required, and we must locally do it so that we can measure the indicators, the objectives that were uh, fixed at the beginning. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Belkati, for this uh, uh, information. You are showing us the importance of having uh, monitoring and evaluation, which helps us to identify the relationship that uh, exists between what we are doing and we want to go. Ibrahim, you have something to share with us on this? Now, anyone with an experience to share with us on this? Otherwise, yes, dear. Uh, quickly, I don't know what what advice you can give us eh, regarding this, but I think uh, at the level of farmers' organisations, the problem that we encounter is when is to align what we are doing with the objectives. Eh, 
the strategic objectives and we see that every person in charge of the program is uh, of, often uh, they are overwhelmed by work. I don't know whether it's the same thing in other networks, eh? but uh, I give the example of my organization, the ACNCR, and I have a project eh, on the agenda, and for each project I have different partners eh, to whom I must give information and I must put indicators for them. And some later someone will tell me you must align that, align that to a such and such objective. So you are self, the person in charge of programs, you get lost in all this because it is the partner who gives us the money. I want to focus on such and such points. And so I forget the monitoring and, 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 and uh, evaluation. So that is what happens often. So I don't know what we see, you propose, how, how you see things, or is it different in other networks? Uh, uh, I think we do not have a lot of uh, time. Eh? I don't know whether there is a, a miracle solution. No, it doesn't. It's already complicated for most of our organizations, eh? monitoring evaluation. But we can always eh? try to have someone who carries out this role. It's easier make a report on operational uh, project than to work on in, in aligning ourselves with the strategy plan. It is true that is a continuous activity that we must uh, implement. But I think if we can organize another session eh, on monitoring and evaluation with your colleagues, eh, and you can share information around this. Judith, you have the floor. Judith. The experience I want to share, just like uh, my other counterpart has said, uh, the monitoring that is possible is monitoring of project implementation. Yeah, because there are guidelines on uh, the monitoring. They, they provide the monitoring tool. And at other times, as we implement the projects, we develop also internal monitoring tool to monitor the implementation of the program and also uh, assessing the outcomes and uh, possible uh, some indications of the impact. But when it comes now to strategic planning, uh, the strategic plan of the organization, the practice I've experienced is that uh, if the strategic plan is for three years, maybe every uh, half, half of the period of project implementation, we assemble together and really uh, analyze the achievements within th that short time. Then that is what serves as the monitoring of the strategic plan. Thank you. But this is a key thing that we should do in terms of strategic planning. We should have a, we should fight. We as, as m and &E, or we as program officer within our team, while the strategic plan is under development, we should try to work in such a way that we have a certain portion of, of the, not the budget allocated, but at least the technical strategy that can enable us to be able to monitor the strategy plan so that if any single project or program or initiatives is coming in the institution, we should quickly try to leak it to our strategic orientations, to leak it to our objectives so that at the end of the project, we can clearly demonstrate how useful has been the project or the programs into the perspective of our strategic plan. Um, 
fait que c'est difficile. Et je peux vous dire que Drupal level to be able to to it's 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 a constant exercise that um we we are we are doing. We will try to try to wrap up our discussion. Um, suggesting this. Uh, this is another type of exercise that you may do to analyze how useful and how committed you are regarding your strategic plan at your farmer organization, at your organization level. There are two main axes, that two main items that you need to, to respond to, which are your organization as a whole, but also your perception on how useful is the strategic planning tool. So you have to rank them. If you look at the, the, the Metimeter tool, you are, requ you are requested to, to rank them in both of the axes. Donc, je ne sais pas si vous pouvez le faire, si c'est assez compréhensible pour vous, de voir comment est-ce ah, y a un il y a un bon commentaire qui est dans le des a good comment on the to show you how do you find the usefulness of your level of commitment eh? in the implementation of the strategic plan and this will be the second last question in our in our uh, discussion On a, on a largement dépassé le temps. Uh, I think we have gone beyond the time, unfortunately. So I had to stop here. I wanted us to also say what we are going to take away from this discussion. But we started a bit late from the beginning. But because there was a time that we had been given, if we don't stop, Yaraja will not be happy. So I thank you for your participation. So I give the floor to Imelda, to Raja. Thank you very much for having exchanged with you. And see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for this uh, very interesting part of our uh, discussion. I didn't have the courage to uh, interrupt you. That's why I, I resisted. I know the importance of strategic uh, planning organization. So, the, the methodology that you have used is very interesting. And I don't know if you, you can open your camera so that I know you. I've never seen you physically. And I think it will be the opportunity for everyone to see you that we know this person who has uh, organized this session for us. You'd want to see your face. So let me show you my big, huge head. Imelda Collins calls it Google Drive. Thank you. Thank you, Judith, for participating. Thank you for seeing your face, says the Akoha. Thank you for seeing your face. Thank you, Google Drive. <laughs> we have seen your face now. <laughs> so this is a, a very important issue that you're talking about now. Because of time, we go to the next session, the second part of the session. We're going to work in our groups. So I ask Zuberi to share the documents uh, on the questions that we need to answer. We have uh, some questions to respond to in the group work. Given that we'll have less time to work uh, there, we'll give you one minute for each. There are four participants. Uh, there are four, sorry, four questions. The, Anglophone group is going to respond to two first questions. And the 
Frank Buffon group will respond to the last two questions. So each group will answer two questions only given that we don't have a lot of time. Eh? So these are the questions. I'm going to read them quickly. So the first question, have you adopted an, an approach for your uh, strategic plan within your organization? If yes, which are the main steps? If not, on the basis of the presentation done here, how would you proceed? The second question, which obstacles do you encounter when you are uh, coming up uh, with the, the, when you're doing the monitoring and evaluation, and the implementation? of your strategic documents and then which lessons and recommendations would you have to improve on the preparation, the implementation and on the swift uh, monitoring and evaluation. The fourth question, do you have within your organization tools and resources for uh, carrying out strategic planning? If yes, can you mention them? And it is requested that you share them with the PAFO after this session. And I, as I was saying, the English speaking group is going to answer the first and the second questions. The French speaking group is going to answer question three. I will be the moderator for the Francophone group. Emerita will be with the, the English speaking group. I can see Insaf wants to say something. Insaf, you have the floor. Just to say, to participants, that I've just shared on the chat, huh? the two exercises for the groups in English and in French, huh? and the presentation from our uh, trainer. So you can see them, you can copy them and, and save them from the chat. Thank you. Thank you, INSAF, for this information. So the questions have been posted on the chat. You can also use those documents that are there on the chat. Huh? Uh, and I don't know whether the groups have already been created. So we'll give you 10 minutes for your discussion. And as usual, you have to choose a rapporteur, the person who's going to uh, present a summarized version of your work uh, during the plenary session after the group work. I can see that the, the group uh, rooms are now open. You can, you, you can choose the group of your choice. At the bottom of your screen, you will see where it's inviting you to join a group. So click there and you join whether it's the French or the English group. So you click on participate. Then you choose French or English. If you have any difficulties in joining a group, tell us, we'll help you. I can see that. Thank you. 